Tabletop CP, and this week we're heading to the Far East for a game of Chain of Command with the new Far East book. So yeah, I got the new book. Uh, I read through it quite a bit, took a bunch of notes. Super awesome. There's a lot of really cool um, changes, a lot of cool additions, some really innovative stuff that uh, the Lardies have done with the existing Chain of Command rules to really bring more life into it, uh, freshen it up. So uh, I'm liking what I see, and I'm expecting we should have a good game. So we're going to be in Burma, 1943. It's going to be the Japanese versus the Indian Army. And the mission will be roadblock. So let's get into the briefing. The map for today's game is the Sicily map from Geek Villain. So yeah, Sicily, I know it doesn't ring jungle out to, to anybody really, but it works for the jungle. It works for pretty much anywhere you want to fight. Super vibrant, uh, really brings the uh, table to life. I definitely highly recommend this one. Check out the description if you want to get one of these for yourself. So terrain is a huge part of the new uh, Far East book. Uh, there's a million rules for it, really cool stuff from different types of jungle, primary jungle, secondary jungle, jungle edge. You got rice patties, uh, dry and wet, there's just a lot of different stuff. And it all has special rules, I'm not going to go over all the rules for the train, or really for any of this uh, book. I'm, I'm going to cover the rules as they come up the best I can, but it, this isn't meant to be a comprehensive overview of the book itself. So when, when, the, when the time comes up, we will go over the rule then, maybe. If we remember, we'll see how it goes in the heat of uh, throwing dice. You know how it can get. So anyway, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to talk about the terrain uh, in general. So there's a lot of jungle. I don't have a lot of trees. So the jungle is kind of spread out. But you can sort of see there's a patch here. Pretty much the outlines of these big areas are all jungle. So there's a lot of rules for jungle fighting within the jungle. And again, I'm not going to go over every single one, but assuming we get some fighting happening in the jungle, we'll go over it then. So there's another patch here, another patch here. So quite a bit. Now we have some huts. The huts have their own rules as well. They're very fragile. I think it's if you roll HE on it and you get a single six, they fall. They fall down. If you a tank touches it, it falls down. And if you're in it, um, you can be hurt like D6 hits. So very fragile. They also catch on fire very easily. Uh, we're going to have these Cooney grass um, patches here. These are going to be special rules for Cooney grass. Uh, that's what these are going to be. And then there's also just a few pieces out that are just for looks, individual bushes and trees. And the rocks are just going to uh, block line of sight. And then we have the road, of course, running through the middle of the jungle. So that's it for the terrain. Let's talk about the mission. So the mission we're going to be playing is called Roadblock. This is one of the new missions. There are several new missions in the book. All of them look cool, but I think we're going to start out with the Roadblock mission. So uh, in this one, we're going to have an attacker, which is going to be the Japanese, attacking the Indians in Burma. Uh, the attacker will, will roll off to see who, what edge uh, we start on and everything. But for this, we'll just say the attacker is coming from this way. So the attacker will place four patrol markers along his board edge. The defender will place four patrol markers in a stack 24 inches from his edge on the road. And then after that, the attacker will get D3 plus one free moves in the patrol phase. And he will also go first in the patrol phase proper. Uh, the defender may not move any of his patrol markers backwards. Um, he has to move them forward. And we'll get into that. They'll, you'll see the reason for that in a second. Uh, there are some very specific jungle rules for deploying um, from jump off points and again we'll get into that in the game. Um, so if there's any jump off points in jungles it changes the way the game plays quite a bit as well as command ranges and all that. Um, but anyway uh, we proceed so we'll place three jump off points each attacker and defender and then the attacker will get one additional jump off point nine inches from the enemy board edge. And part of that is going to be a roadblock. So he's going to be behind the enemy, manning a roadblock. And from this roadblock jump off point, the Japanese can only deploy one squad and one extra team. That's it. So you can't deploy your whole army on the roadblock. Um, let's see here. Uh, so for the objectives, the attacker must hold the roadblock and drive the enemy force model zero to win. 
Um, once all of the attacking units, um, all the attacking players' units are on the board, he can spend three chain of command points. And that's another big thing in this is that now you can spend chain of command points. You don't have to wait to get a whole die. You can use these points uh, as you accumulate them for various things, which I think that's super cool. Really makes, uh, really brings a whole new dynamic to the game. But I'm getting off into the weeds here. <laughs> Let's continue with the mission here. Um, so yeah, once all the once all the attackers' units are deployed, he can spend I think it's two chain of command points to remove two of his jump off points. I'm not really sure of the reason for that. Just right right now, I'm sure it'll become apparent in the game. I'm guessing it's mainly due to um, not losing them to the uh, defending player because I don't know. But we'll see how it goes. But that is an option for him. Uh, the defender must clear the roadblock and retreat his units off the board edge from the road to get a minor victory. If he wants a major victory, he's got to capture the roadblock and drive the Japanese force morale to zero. So that's the mission. Pretty cool. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, and that's it for that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the forces. Alright, we're starting off with the attacking Japanese. So again, this is 1943. The uh, book has tons of Japanese lists, tons of Indian lists, tons of British, everything. Um, so I'm just going with 1943. This is pretty much what I have the most of for the Indians and the Japanese. So this is the 1943 Japanese Infantry Platoon. Uh, their uh, force rating is plus five, so pretty high. Uh, and they are regulars, and they are experienced jungle troops. So another thing in the rules, there's different levels of experience as far as jungle fighting. You got your green dudes, your rookies, and all the way up to your jungle warriors. And with those come all kind of different rules um, for how the game plays for that ex particular unit. Um, we'll go we'll go into that during the game as well. So pressing on here, we're going to have two senior leaders. We have a um, the sword-wielding lieutenant, Lieutenant Tanaka. We have an inferior senior leader. Um, he has a rifle. He also has a rule where he can pretty much act as a holy man slash drinks cabinet uh, and dole out some corporal punishment to his men to remove some shock. But if he rolls a six, he kills a guy, he goes too far, and who shock is removed. So that's a little little bonus uh, rule for the Japanese uh, inferior senior leader. We're going to have three Japanese infantry sections. There's a... so I didn't have enough Japanese troops. This platoon is quite large. So a few of the few of the squads are minus a few guys. But it's supposed to be nine riflemen and four um, men in the M M M LMG team. And then you got a junior leader with rifle. So there's a few that are missing. Um, and then we have the knee motor squad. These are supposed to be four guys per team, but I didn't have that many guys. And the knee motors really good. Uh, they're more they're more like uh, light motors than uh, grenade dischargers. So they're HE2 each one, unlimited ammo. They do have a minimum range um, that they can fire rifles at uh, in but but um, <laughs> before the the main minimum range hits. You know what I'm trying to say. But uh, they're really good. There's no no ammo, so as long as the fire doesn't move or the target doesn't move more than six, you can be rolling in with six HE, even without line of sight, if you have some eyes on with an officer or, or some scouts or something. So a solid unit there. That's probably where that plus five mainly comes from is this, is this squad here. So that's the uh, Japanese force. Here we have our Indian platoon. So these guys might look familiar to you. Uh, if you watch this channel, these are my... North African um, Indians, but I've heard from uh, some several sources that they're okay to use for the jungle, and here they are. So these are, it's pretty much just a basic British rifle platoon. Uh, we're going to have three sections. It's going to have um, six riflemen and one SMG per rifle team, so that's a little bit different. Uh, junior, leader with start, or junior leader with rifle and then a three-man Bren team. We also got the old two-inch mortar, the boys AT rifle, and then we're going to have two senior leaders, lieutenant with pistol, and then the platoon sergeant with rifle. These guys' force rating is minus one, so they're going to be getting six extra support points right off the bat. They're regular, and they're also classified as experienced jungle troops. So that's it for the briefing. I know I kind of uh, went on a little long there, but... Um, 
Hopefully it's not uh, not too bad. So let's go ahead and dive into the game now, finally. Right, Andre's here. He's going to be the Indian troops defending that side. I'm the Japanese starting over here. He's got his stack of four there. Has to move forward. I got my four <laughs> over here. Um, we've already rolled support. Let's roll our uh, force morale real quick, Andre. I think I get plus one to this because I'm Japanese. So I'm at an 11. And that'll make me a nine? A nine. Nine? Yeah, I have a special rule, like for the Emperor or something like that. I get a plus one on that roll, as long as I have all my chain, my, all my command dice and everything. Uh, anyway, uh, for support, Andre's getting 16 support points, which is crazy, because the support list for the Indians is not, there's not like a lot of heavy duty tanks that cost like eight or nine points on it. No, I mean, you, you wouldn't 18. believe how many Valentines I'm bringing. <laughs> I think I do have two of them. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I do have two Valentine tanks, so. The Valentine we've, we're looking at is the only tank that he can bring. That's it. But, I mean, against the Japanese, that might be pretty damn good. So, um, I'm going to get 10. It was D6 plus 6 support for the mission, and then the force rating difference of 6 gave Andre 16. Which leaves me 10. So anyway, uh, that's how we're going to go ahead and do the uh, patrol phase now. phase complete so he, he closed me down very quickly I mean I was suddenly hey I can't go anywhere so I'm pretty much stuck back here this is where my patrol markers are and then Andre's got uh, two in this jungle here one in the Cooney grass so the Cooney grass is going to be soft cover obscured so you have to roll the green dice if you're firing you in this Cooney grass I also get one back here on our makeshift Japanese roadblock. So I have four, Andre's got three, and I think that's that. So we now we'll go over our plans. We'll start with the Japanese plan. So I had 10 points, so I'm bringing a ruse, uh, or, uh, all, all war ruse, the scout ruse. So pretty much if I deploy, deploy a scout team, they can become a jump off point. So my plan here is to, the squad that I deploy here, hopefully everything goes well, they will be detaching a scout squad who will come into this jungle or that jungle, whichever way, and they will become a jump off point. So that's just kind of a sneaky way to get past the rule of only one squad and one team off of that. Uh, it is two points. So that's two points. I'm bringing a Chiha tank. Not great. Uh, armor wise only three uh, but I know Andre's bringing two Valentine tanks so I need some kind of armor um, I'm gonna bring a zero attack so it's kind of like a watered watered down Stuka attack from the 1940 book uh, what it's just it, it only affects people when they try to come in on the first turn so on the first if you roll a one on the first turn you are you're at that squad or that unit is dispersed they can't come in till the next turn if you roll a two or a three, they have to wait to the next phase to try again. If you roll a four, they do come in, but they have four shock. If you roll a five, they do come in, but there's they have three shock. If you roll a six, they just come in as normal. So it'll be a way to slow him down. And unless he rolls a six, they'll be if they do come in, they'll have shock and stuff on them. Which I'm gonna need that because these tanks are gonna come in right behind me. <laughs> so yeah, I it doesn't say anything, any kind of limitation about what kind of support either side can bring in the mission. So tanks, they come in on the road. The line of communication for the uh, Indians is here. I'm going to be right there. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting. So I'm hoping that the uh, zero attack will help me with those tanks. Uh, then my last thing is going to be a satchel charge, which I will give to one of the units over here because that they're going to be closest to the tank. Other than that, I'm going to try to get my knee mortar squad. 
firing as soon as possible and probably just push up that way uh, with the rest of the troops uh, and try to pin him down because he has to get off the board to win so if I can tie his units up somehow that's only going to be beneficial to me so it's it's interesting it's a totally different type of chain of command game than we've ever played which is good because we played a lot of chain of command so it's good to freshen it up a little bit so anyway that's my plan we'll see how it works out all right the Indian plan well for me, a lot of it's coming down to the uh, support. So with 16 points, I had a bunch to buy. I got, uh, I picked up two Valentines, which turns out they're not fabulous in terms of uh, tanks, but for four points, they shouldn't be. They're slow, they have lousy HE, and only one machine gun. But it's a heavy duty tank. Um, so I'm thinking, Tank shock could be a real thing if I can get enough, uh, get some uh, pins out there. So, um, you know, tank shock could uh, could be cool. Anyway, um, it uh, might keep Travis moving around a little bit. If uh, maybe I can clear him off the uh, the hard cover, um, we'll see about that. So. I'm uh, over in the grass and up in the jungle. I've also got a, uh, I've got two entrenchments. I've got a Vickers 50 cal. So, um, well, I guess it's not, is it a 50 cal? Uh, yeah. Anyway, I've got a Vickers. Um, and I've also got a pregame barrage. So I'm going to try and, uh, you know, uh, get in place and uh, make my uh, push before Travis really has a chance to do much. Um, I'll try and move one tank up to counter the Chiha, the second tank to help uh, clear out um, as I make my push on the objective. And not really sh sure, uh, um, I tried to get my jump off points so that I could uh, deploy out into the open and move quickly, not having to deal with the the, tr the thick edge of the jungle. So, um, yeah, I, I'd like to... S I'm thinking the Vickers will probably be in uh, one of those entrenchments, but, uh, you know, we'll see, uh, you know, targets of opportunity here. And, uh, you know, it's just... Uh, how much is uh, Travis going to put behind me and how much of it is going to go into the roadblock. So, um, well, and how much can he get out uh, with the pregame barrage? So he's not going to be able to sit back. Not that I think he'd want to, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll see. I mean, if he goes all in uh, with his forces here, um, then, uh, you know, if I can take out his Chiha, well, he's probably going to have some satchel charges too, though. Um, yeah, I don't know how effective my tanks are going to be, but, uh, yeah, I'd like to have a more cohesive plan, but it's really going to kind of be, uh, I think I'm really just kind of winging it um, in terms of just applying pressure and continue applying pressure till uh, something, uh, an opportunity occurs or something breaks. We'll see uh, how that works. Okay, so plans are done. We start off with the Japanese. So the green dice, this is if we're shooting at things in obscured targets in jungle, community grass, whatever. And the blue ones will be the command dice. So we're starting off with two chain of command points. All right. That'll and be all a, your little teams. And one, one, two. You all can right. bring in a senior leader. I could. <laughs> Tanaka, you ready? Man, Just like Plan said. Man the roadblock. <laughs> okay, so I brought a squad in. I made a, uh, a, th a three. So I'll put them on Overwatch. What the hell? But we are right by the road. But the zero attack should make Andre totally think twice the about the tank. the ability to bring in a tank. Yeah, if he rolls a four or a five to bring the tank in, they don't come in because then their crew bails because there's... Zero is strafing them and they freak out. 
But anyway, I brought in a squad and I still have a one left. I don't have anything that can activate on a one though. So that's it. So it's your phase, Andre. Uh, a couple huh. senior leaders. And he does get a free um, adjutant. A free adjutant because he's got the Viceroy officer guy. So basically, it's a free adjutant. Uh, and then what'd you roll? Two, three, four, four. All right, so Andre's brought a couple of sections in. So that section came in the Cooney Grouse over there. Uh, they did come in with four shock due to the zero attack, but he was able to bring his platoon sergeant in through the zero attack, no effect there, and he removed three of the shock. He did the same thing over here with this squad. He brought them in. They also took four shock coming in, but he brought his lieutenant in who took three shock off. So he is going to fire at the guys, uh, we're saying hardcover for the um, the roadblock. Fives. Three hits. One, two, three. Three hits. All right. Um, I'll just use three of your dice. So I got, I'll put two on the rifle team and one on the machine gun team. So the rifle team, nothing. Machine gun team, nothing. Not a damn thing. The roadblock stops all the bullets. And I am on overwatch. So I will return fire. So they're in the jungle fringe, which is hard cover. So there's a two inch band around all the jungle. That is hard cover. And it's hard to get in and out of the jungle through it as well. But he's in it. So he will be in hard cover. So the green dice is in here <laughs> with my 16 shots. So since he's in hard cover, if the green dice rolls a one, nothing happens because I can't see him. If the green dice rolls a six, he's instead in soft cover. Oh. It's not. <laughs> it's a two. So oh. no change. But I did only get one, two, three hits. One, Just, two, three, four hits on you. Oh, sure. You get more than I did. I got one more. You had to one-up me. So two each. One on each. Uh, you got a rifle and a Bren team. Okay. The rifles are black. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. So ineffective. So both uh, ways. We we effectively uh, exchanged fire. <laughs> <laughs> we ineffectively exchanged fire. Is that it? Uh, yeah. I think that's yeah. all your dice. Okay. That's, that's everything. Back to the Japanese. Uh, another chain of command point. And your senior leaders are coming in. And my senior leaders. <laughs> I do have two senior leaders. Um, and a three. So two fours and a three. Okay, so you may notice that there's a squad in here. Uh, Andre did mention there was a pregame barrage. Um, so they came in through it because he didn't mention it. So we're not going to reroll that. My, one of my, my inferior senior leader tried to make it in. He couldn't. Um, Tanaka did. So he came in. He formed a scout team. They ran over here. And I paid two points to use the Roos scouts out, which allows them to act as a jump off point with three chain of command points, which I just happened to have three chain of command points. Thus, these guys deployed off of them. So now I have two squads back here when the rules say you can only bring one. So that's how the Japanese uh, ruse works. Woo We're able to cheat the system. <laughs> yes. Ah. So anyway, yeah, we got two squads and this squad has a satchel charge. So this, uh, where is he? Here he is. So he is satchel charging here because I know there's tanks. How come it's got a red cross on it? <laughs> I don't know. He's so he can sneak <laughs> up on it better. You think he's coming to fix you. Uh, anyway, so that is two fours. One didn't make it through the barrage. A three. Did I use a three for something? You used oh, three it's a three to bring, to bring these in. guys in. And you still yeah. got a two. And I got a two, so I could bring another squad in or try to. So I brought my knee mortar squad in here off this jump off point. I think I'm probably a little too far up but I'll adjust those guys um, but they're gonna fire on to that squad there via Tanaka who's over there so leaders or scouts can can uh, line of sight for these guys so on the first firing they only roll one dice each subsequent firing if they don't move or if the target doesn't move more than six they can start rolling two so 
think I need fives and sixes because I don't have a line of sight to you. Got two hits. And HE does not roll the green dice. Okay. So I said black was rifles. Okay. So dead guy out of the Bren team. Nice. So check your leader. <laughs> it's not the leader. Alright, so the knee mortars are zeroing in onto that section. And that's it for me. I am done. So now we move on to the Indians. Alright, go ahead, Andre. And not a double phase. Nope. But two what do you get? Two three three four. Andre has uh, moved these guys out, so the lieutenant, or I don't know, he he had enough to do it, so he pulled the shock, right? Yes. And then he advanced up to the uh, jungle fringe. Meanwhile, over here, uh, the lieutenant and the squad have pulled another shock, the last shock that they got from the zero attack, and they've, they've moved back. Advanced out of the it, fringe. They're now in the primary jungle. I think they're supposed to be moving in single file or something like that, but it's too much to keep track of. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff. Wow, I didn't catch that. That's... Yeah, yeah, you're supposed to move in single file and through the jungle. And then when you make contact, you spread out. Um, well, I can single file as well. You can try it. Why not? Yeah. Put them in single file. I'll just go ahead and move on with my face here. Hey, look at that! Three more chain, <laughs> three more chain of command points. Wow! Seriously. But I, but all I wound up with to use is a two. <laughs> because you had so much you wanted to do. <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh. I wanted okay. to bring my tank in. You don't need your tank. Okay, let me think. I got a two to do something with. And so, I tried to bring in my last section with the two. It didn't make it through the barrage. I did, however, use one of the new rules. I activated the scout team with a pip, a chain of command point. So that's a really one of my favorite rules I think of so far of this, just reading through. Sometimes activating scout teams can be difficult. Um, I could have done it with a command with a four, but I didn't get a four. So I just used the one, one pip of my three chain of command dice points to move the scouts up eight. So moving on to the next phase. Whoa, Whoa no, yeah! it's an end of turn. No, Whoa! no, that's bad. Oh, oh, that's bad for me. Oh, my pregame barrage is going away. <laughs> and my yeah, my zero attack that was keeping the two Valentines off the table is now in trouble. And I got a two. <laughs> <laughs> and a two. <laughs> okay, well that's interesting. That changes things a little bit. Yeah, I was expecting that. That. Uh, Zero attack to keep those tanks away from me for at least, until I got moved a little bit at least. I never even got my tank on the board. All right, we'll see what Andre does with his two. Andre is gonna to attempt to move that section into the jungle. So the jungle fringe, it takes an entire, it takes your whole activation to break through it into the jungle. So you roll a d6 minus one. So he can't do it, yeah. So basically, he is stopped by the jungle fringe. It's very dense, thick jungle fringe. Um, he'll have to try again next phase, which is going to be right now because he rolled a double phase. So that's the end of the turn, right? Yep. Is there anything that happens? All of the smoke goes away. <laughs> um, our wounded leaders all of our get up. wounded leaders get up. And the tanks now can appear. Ah, this is going to be rough. <laughs> all right, we'll move on to the next phase. Oh, you got a three. You can bring a tank in. So two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Okay, first thing he did was he pulled this squad back towards the jungle, the fringe over here. And then, now that the zero is gone, the Valentine has made an appearance. And I realized I put my satchel charge in there. He can't get through the jungle fringe. I should have put him in with this squad. I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> That'd be perfect because he'd be right there. That was a huge mistake on my part. But and I'm going to go on Overwatch. You're not going to fire? Well, I'm going to go on Overwatch because if you do try and bring your satchel charge over, mm. um, if, or, oh, I've got a double phase though, don't I? No. That was my double phase. This is your, yeah, that was your second Okay, phase, so sorry. if you get a double phase, oh, you yeah. could 
Okay. So good call. I'm gonna go on Overwatch. Yeah. Damn, I should put my satchel charge in there with him. Oh well. It is what it is. So uh, it's that's everything. That's it. So on to the Japanese. One 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 three four. Okay. That's interesting. I can bring the tank in. Hey, there's no more pregame barrage for me either. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, one 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 three four. Okay, so I brought in the Chiha tank. Um, he went on Overwatch. There's no targets, but what the hell. Um, next thing I did, I had the guys with the squad with the satchel charge just moved up to the jungle fringe to get ready to rush out. Andre chose not to fire his Overwatch as Valentine. And then with the four, I had Tanaka move his guys up into the jungle fringe. And he is going to fire at them. So needing force. So three, three hits. hits. Okay, so we'll do the black will be the rifle team. The yellow will be the machine gun team in the open. So one dead guy in the rifle team. It's not the leader. So and it's a tie game. 1-1. One, one. <laughs> we both lost a guy. Uh, so Tanaka, he still has commands, but I don't think there's really anything else he can do with it. So... I guess that'll be it for me. So on to Andre's phase. Okay. Oh, and you also you would also had to roll the green dice if you fired at them. Right. So yeah, you're much better off waiting to fire to knock in the open. I wasn't sure you were gonna move them. Was the only. I gotta get it. I, I could have just sat there. Yeah, but I was okay with that too. Yeah. It was it was worth not firing at guys in hard cover to. Right. Thought you might just not even see anyway. Yeah. So two threes, still no one. <laughs> okay, two threes, a four, and a five, and a six. Andre started off, he moved these guys. They got a two minus one, so they were able to get right on the edge in the fringe. Uh, meanwhile, he brought his second Valentine in. It has gone on Overwatch with its coax machine gun, waiting for the satchel charge to come out. The other three is going to fire the coax again at Tanaka's boys. Using fours. Five hits, two rending. Five hits. Five hits. Oh man. Okay, so we'll do three. Three onto the machine gun team. That's two shock. And then we'll do two onto the. Oh, I did it backwards, but okay, rifle team. <laughs> a shock and a dead guy. Oh no, it's the leader. Oh. It's the senior leader. Oh my god. He's oh. Dead. Oh. oh my god. It's falling apart. Tanaka's been killed. Oh. That just went to shit real fast. Oh, poor Tanaka. Man. The spirit of Bushido. Probably minus one. Well, you skated on the <laughs> down to ten. Tanaka's been killed by a random Valentine bullet. <laughs> wow. Sniped by a tank. Wow. With a machine gun. Damn. Yeah, there's not a whole lot I can do back here at this point. Except survive. And try and drop your force morale to zero. Wow. <laughs> Poor Tanaka. Yeah. That sucked. Well. That was bad luck. All right. Until then, <laughs> you were looking kind of solid. I was going to jump in the no. woods and run off and go yeah. kill them. Yeah, no. Well, I can still do that, just you, without Tanaka. Yeah. <laughs> um, I only dropped one on my force morale, so I'm down to ten. Yeah, it's it's a tough blow to lose the senior leader, but, for sure. Yeah, especially, well... I'll just have to ignore the tanks. Maybe I should just pull them back. I mean, I only got one satchel charge. So even if I do somehow kill one, there's still another one out there. Yeah. I can get my tank over here is what I need to do. <laughs> all right, uh, so that's... And that uh, was... That was... That was all me. Okay. I'm done. All right, on to the Japanese. A good roll. Ooh! Oh, yeah, that's a good roll. One, two, three. All right. We got to avenge one, two, Tanaka. One, three. Shoot at me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, anyway, I moved my tank. Didn't get a great roll, but I was on the road, so I had a few pips. So he just motored down the road. Both of these squads could not get through the jungle fringe. I rolled a one on trying to get them in, rolled a one.
Try and get them back. Roll the one. <laughs> <laughs> this is some thick ass jungle. Okay. Oh wait, I got another phase, Andre. Uh, I get, maybe get to try it again. So I got one more phase. Come on. Don't uh, get to six anymore. All right, one, two, three, four, four. Well, Tanaka's dead, so we can take that four out. <laughs> I do have my inferior senior leader still. Yeah. I could bring him in back there, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Yeah. Man, there goes my spotter too for my knee motors. Yeah, Tanaka is important. All right, let me think about this. Uh, so I. I was able to get those guys into the jungle, but it took the two and the three to do it. Which isn't how I wanted to, but they had two shock. I rolled a four minus one, so I needed... I was at the edge. I need two inches to clear the jungle for inch, which is a pain in the ass. But with the two shock, I wouldn't have... I would have been stuck in it again and had to roll yet again. So I pulled both shock with the three, and then used the two to move them in. So they move three. They're clear of the jungle fringe. Well, except... They're clean. It's too small. <laughs> They're free of the jungle fringe, Andre. The, the, the Don't say well. We need, a, we need a bigger jungle for you to get everybody inside uh, two inches in. They're in. Uh, meanwhile, these guys, uh, I used the one, all I had left. to. I'm pulling. They made it in, but he's going to fire the... Shoot at them as they run away. One. Got a hit. In the open. Point of shock. So point of shock onto the scout team, but they are in the jungle now. Shocking. And I have a four left, which means my inferior senior leader. You could bring them right here. I could bring them in with them. I probably should. Oh no, because I still got a unit off the board, so I won't bring him in. All right, your phase, Andre. That was very ineffective. Okay, see if I can roll as well as I uh, <laughs> as you did last time. As I thought you I was going to. Tail one, two ones, so you could bring your mortar well, in. Okay, I mean the pair of fives was nice, but a pair of ones is yeah. kind of sweet too. So one, one, two, four, six. Andre's using a one to bring his boys in from uh, from that jump off point in the five. Grass. Right? He got a five, yeah. So the boys AT rifle fires hits. And it's I get two. AP two, and I'm three. Nothing. That's a five. Ooh, again, is nothing. this the equal equal? No, oh, it's nothing. I think I've had this discussion with someone since we that last game. Okay, so it isn't really uh, equal hits. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think it just does nothing. I don't know. Well, yeah, it it makes sense that way. Last time it was like okay. You did nothing. Yeah, it still did something. I don't know. It's confusing. We're going to say it does nothing. Okay, so that's a one. So you got a one, two, and a four left. So after the boys shot, he put this Valentine on Overwatch. And again, the badass jungle fringe has stopped another one. We've rolled five ones. This is some thick ass jungle fringe. Out we of... cannot move in and out of the jungle. Actually,. So we've had three successes and five failures. So <laughs> yeah, five, five ones. ones out of eight rolls. That's insane. So this jungle fringe is intensely, intensely thick. It's like you're not getting through it. Um, so that's it. So on to the Japanese. Two, three, four, four. Well, again, rest in peace, Tanaka. Um, two, three, four, four. Chiha zip down the road, got a decent move. He's right in front of the boys' AT gun or AT rifle. Uh, brought my last section in off this center uh, jump off point here. And other than that, I'm not bringing in my inferior senior leader yet, which means, well, I can't. This jump off point shut down. I would love to bring him in with them, but they're kind of blocking this jump off point here. <laughs> uh, and then, so I did nothing with these guys. But we're saying they're. Well, they're in the fringe, so they yeah. are within line of sight of the yeah. thing. We can see each other. But I'm not moving. So your your phase, Andre. Okay. Andre's got to get his horses off of there. He's cleared the, the roadblock. Double phase. Two ones and a two to play with. I'm going to start off with the boys on the tank. So I need a four or a three or... Uh, well, I moved, right? But I guess you didn't. Yeah, four. Four on 2d6. Miss that. Ooh, a 10. Almost found a weak point. 
Hey, I got nothing again. Can Andre get something? Nope. <laughs> it's again the same shit. Nothing. Uh, okay, so that's a one, and he's got a one and a two left. Here. So the this squad, they after all their hacking with the machetes, they got a really good move through the fringe. They're way they in normally there. would be with in fist cuffs now, but they're not because it's two inches in the jungle. But he also brought his mortar in over there. He's gonna fire a HE shell. So two D six, needing a five. He got a hit, which is gonna reduce cover. So I am in soft cover in there, right? I'm not on the fringe. I'm uh, in the jungle. Because you didn't move, so you were in hard cover. No, I'm past the fringe, so I'm in soft cover. So I'm in the open. But so. you didn't move, so isn't it hard cover? Oh. Yeah, so light cover? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you remember that, because I forgot. Yeah, if you don't move and you're in the jungle, you're in hard cover. Well, if you want a pin, you can have I one. think. Do I have a pin? No. No? Yeah, I was in light cover. Yeah, the roll three, nothing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the boys fired. They moved in. Mortar fired. Next phase. All my senior leaders are activating. And one tank. <laughs> thing that happened. Uh, first thing he's going to do in this phase, he's, tanks come out. Uh, he's going to fire half effect into the guys in the jungle fringe there. Got two hits. All right. Um, so rifle team, machine gun team, nothing. That's pretty typical. And technically, you should have rolled the green dice there. Okay. Um, so nothing. It didn't change anything. All right. Uh, so that's one three. Other tanks still on Overwatch, but my satchel charge guy is right there. We're gonna have to make a try for it. That's just all there is to it. So here, yeah, over here, we gotta see what's gonna happen. He, he's gonna have, he's gonna shoot. So we're within the jungle. He can see me. He's gotta roll the uh, jungle dice. Uh, he does have <laughs> rolling the headless Thompson gunner. He knocked his head off. The guy with the Thompson. But so he's got Thompson, Bran, bunch of rifles. Eighteen dice and the green dice. So the green dice the means five. nothing. So, so fours to hit? Fours to hit, and then I'll be in hard cover. Do uh, nine hits, so five on the rifles, hard cover. Point, point of shock. Point of shock. Machine gun team? Nothing. Point, oh, of, point shock. of shock. Wow. You should I'm gonna I'm gonna charge your ass. I don't care. We're Japanese. <laughs> we like the fisticuffs. Yeah, I know. Point of shock each. Okay, so that was a Three? Or was that your senior leader? That was a senior leader. Okay, so his lieutenant's in there. So I got another senior leader. Over here. Oh, we forgot. He's going to use the two to do the firing of the section. And then he's going to have his uh, lieutenant, or his platoon sergeant, throw three, they're going to throw three grenades. So two D6. Two D6 each? Yep. So just do them one at a time. Yep. So that'll make it. That'll make it. They all make it. Okay. So it's three hit. I'll have to check it. All right, so the uh, Mills Bomb, Superior Mills Bomb does three dice and all, or yeah, three dice. So he hit three times, which is nine. So do five on the rifles, reduce some cover by one. Uh, a point of shock. <laughs> really? Yeah, because you dropped me down to soft cover? Yeah. Yeah. So just another point of shock and then the machine gun. There you go. Two dead. No, one dead and two shot. Two shot. It's not the leader. Still, though, a full salvo and nine grenades hits, and I lost a guy and took four shock. Any, so, uh, your junior leader? No, 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 don't take him out. <laughs> Flag bearer? <laughs> not him either. Just take a random dude out. We'll take a guy off the back because you probably want to charge. Yes. All right, so that's uh, a two, a four. A three, which means you got a four, four left here. over here. Andre's last action was to move these guys. They did make it. They got a good roll. They're out of the jungle, in the open, and they're moving that direction. So we move on to the Japanese. A couple fives. Oh man! See, I could have done my mobile chain of command or my mobile <laughs> deployment point now. 
All right, two, three, four. So first thing I'll do, I'm gonna fire the cannon at the boys. And then I'm gonna spend my three chain of command points to reactivate my scout squad as a jump off point and bring my senior leader in over here. And he's gonna order the satchel charge to attack. And then that squad is gonna bonsai charge those dudes. So it should be an action packed phase. Yes sir. <laughs> so we'll start with the, uh, the tank. Okay, so it's a, oh, oh no, it's a HE doesn't count the, I was going to say I need the green dice, but I'm firing HE. So here we go, needing fours. That's three hits. Ouch. In the open, because I'm reducing your Cooney grass cover by one. Cooney grass. Don't roll, okay, I'm going to split them up. Ah, uh, two points of shock. One for each dude, huh? <laughs> they both got a point of shock. Okay, well, whatever. So I'm not pinned yet? Not yet. <laughs> not in hardcover yet. Uh, next up, we'll try the, I guess we'll do the satchel next. All right, so I've uh, run out with the uh, satchel charge. Well, first I brought my inferior senior leader in. Satchel charge ran out. The inferior senior leader, before he had him run, he was a second command, and we threw a smoke grenade to block that Valentine who's on Overwatch, so... He's going to see if he can take him down. Oh, four hits. Oh. Wow. That's not good. <laughs> Even with the smoke grenade. Well, so hard cover? Yeah, he's dead. No, uh, hard cover? Because I'm shooting over oh. the back end of my uh Oh, yeah, that's right. My You're tank. Cover. Uh, so then, a point of shock? <laughs> Doesn't matter. He's going to die right now anyway. <laughs> 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 you mean he's going to remove a point of shock as soon as the charge goes off? <laughs> yeah, two, three, four, five, six. So, satchel charge is AP six. I'm hitting the side, so it's fours, fives, and sixes. Three. And see if Andre can block it. Oh, yeah, more than enough. One, two, five. Wow. Okay. Well, that was fun. <laughs> you got your satchel charge. I can off. see how this game is uh, definitely not going my way tonight. <laughs> but I'm dead, so he dies in the attack. Is that like a bad thing then? Team killed. Four. So that's minus how, one because I have that. I can't uh, imagine a, a guy satchel who, charge Japanese satchel. I mean, why not? He's for the glory of the. Okay. Well, it's for the glory of the Empire. I mean, if anything, it was a good thing. Yeah, okay. I, yeah, there's no downside to that. Okay. Well, I was going to say, because I got that spirit of Bushido, so you I do. minus one to that roll. If but, I have all my jump off points and all my command dice, but yeah. we'll just say it's not going to happen. I, all right, so he uh, ran out there, blew up, but did nothing. <laughs> it rattled affected. my uh, cage. That was my chance. Of course, Andre rolls five, fives, and six on six I was dice. Sweating <laughs> when you got three hits. Yeah, me too. I was. Damn. Uh, okay, now we're gonna. Uh, with the. Three, well, this is the one that really matters the two. for you. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna make it. <laughs> so we'll move into fisticuffs. Well, you, you, you had to get one inch. Yeah. Yeah, we got there. So, so we're gonna that move was in. Twelve minus three. <laughs> now we will fight for the emperor. The assault uh, never. It was over before it began. Andre had what, 33 dice? Yeah. <laughs> I had eight. And so I he was 32 to repel you. He was four times over, so he just repelled the attack before it got there. Uh, I fell back 3d6 and took eight shock, which means I'm at 13 shock with nine guys. I'm pinned. So that did not go well. So, but I didn't lose anyone. No. <laughs> I did not. It just says if one side has more than four times as many dice as the other, the side with fewer dice immediately falls back 3d6 with backs to the enemy. Oh. So you can come back and take me out. So uh, you're facing down the tank. Yep. Yeah, we're in trouble over here. Uh, my satchel charge blew up ineffectively against the side of the tank. I have no answer for it. Well, my answer is down there. <laughs> But I have a feeling you're just going to drive up there and probably take me out. So that's, I think that's it for me. Finally. So it's your phase, Andre. Woohoo!
an ineffective attack. Without Tanaka, it just yeah wasn't the same. They they didn't have their hearts in it. No. Two, 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 three. This thing up. This Valentine's pivoted. He's gonna fire at the pin squad. Need fours. Two hits. Do I need because of the pivot? Do I need fives? No. No, you're thinking bolt action. Okay. <laughs> um, blue will be the machine gun squad. Two points of shock. <laughs> uh, okay, so what are we at now? Eight and seven fifteen on nine. Okay, so we're all about to break. We're going to break soon. Uh, okay, so that was a three? Yep. And then... Let's pull some of these. Um... All right, we'll Lots out. of twos, so I can't do any of my individual teams on twos, can I? Teams? Or yeah. Oh, the more no, those are ones. Yeah. You can activate sections on twos. So I could do two sections, or I could do a section in the senior leader, and it's basically all the same. Yep. So we've got a rare Andre update. Travis has stepped out, and I activated on a senior leader with a two of the twos, making a four. Moved this squad up, t didn't quite make it to the uh, fringe, but got a pretty good move, rolled three dice, and pulled a uh, two shock with the senior leader. Over in the uh, jungle, after repelling the uh, attack, we were a little leery of lurking Japanese, and we rolled two dice and went two inches. <laughs> And that was uh, all three of my twos, and you already saw the tank, uh, so he's set to do a tank shock. If Travis wasn't pinned, he might even think of getting out of the way. Back to the Japanese, double phase. Ooh. Two threes and a one. Not horrible. Nope. Um, hmm. Too bad I don't have anything left <laughs> to bring in. All right, we'll figure something out. We'll start off with the three with the tank. We'll see if we can finish off the bull. One more and they're pinned. Two more and they break. So needing fours. That's only one hit. Uh, I'm like, either kill them or... In the open. <laughs> Nothing. That's a point of shock. So three on two, so, so we're in hard cover. Yeah. Could have been... The only thing better would have been if you... Just roll the one or a two or a three. Actually, the three would have been a shock. Okay, so that's one three. Uh, oh wait, I got a. I have a bow gun too. <laughs> I didn't realize that. What? I could have been firing that this whole time. Hey, you've got another one back here. You can fire back this way. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to fire that one. <laughs> I'll fire again. Needing fours. Three hits, but this time in hard cover. I didn't realize that thing had a bow gun on it. Uh, point of shock. So that's going to break them. So roll 2d6. Ooh, and then add 6 to that and fall back that many. The 3, I pulled 2 shock off of them. Maybe it'll help with the uh, inevitable tank shock. So they broke. Um, they ran back 17 inches. Uh, they got 4 shock with 2 guys. So my tank is now free to move. Of course, I got two uh, two other tanks to deal with, but that's just how it is. So we'll move on to the next phase. Chain of command point. I got. I've sat in so many chain of command points yet I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still working on my first die. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I've gotten like probably two dice worth, at least two <laughs> dice worth, because I've rolled. I've used it what twice now. The three. Uh, I, I don't know, it's, I've used a you've, lot. You've burned a bunch. Um, so two, two, three, four. So I'll move the tank again. This squad moved back uh, with the four, and then the student, senior leader, fear of senior leader had these guys, um, the scout team joined the machine gun team. So now we have one giant squad. And we're going to hopefully be able to deal with them. Hopefully my tank can deal with them, and we'll be back. Back in command of the game, uh, I think that's, oh wait, I got some, that was a three, four, I got a couple two, so I can move these two squads. 
I had these these two squads uh, made it. They made it past the jungle fringe pretty good. They got a six, so they're five. They're on the road now. Nemo squad ran out of the grass, um, and at least they're in the open. So that's it for me. So it's Andre's phase. One, two, two, three, five. Okay, he's almost to his first chain of command dice. So close. <laughs> All right. So uh, how does uh, an ambush work? An ambush. Yeah. Well, you have to ambush off of a jump off point. Right. Um, so I come off within six inches of the jump off point. I think it's within team, twelve. Right? Oh. If you're in the jungle, you can ambush. Well, well, let me look it up. Okay. Andre has uh, used what did I say? Uh, Three dice. Three points. Four points. Four points. Okay. Pretty sure you said four. We'll double check it. But he used some of his points to bring in a Vickers support unit off of that uh, jump off point there in ambush. He's going to fire at the knee mortars and then run back into the jungle. So even fours. Wow. Five hits. Five hits. Okay. Can you hand me one die, please? Or yeah, three. Actually, it's all one big squad, so it doesn't matter. Two dead. Two dead and a shock. Not the leader. So I'll take two crewmen off. Take the two guys with SMGs that shouldn't be there. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> They're just uh, cannon fodder guys. I had to use something. Speaking of shouldn't be there. So the there goes the Vickers. They popped up, um, fired off, and then melted back into the jungle. Killed a couple guys in the knee mortar squad. All right, next, uh, what else you got? And with the one, I could redeploy them and fire at the uh, other squad. <laughs> Good. It's like, hey, we're back. We're back. <laughs> so the tank shock, I have to roll over the amount of shock per team, which I can't do. There's seven, six. So I lose a D6 worth of guys. Is that it? Um, I think it was, I lose D6 per team. If they crushed. succeed, they evade the tank and they move 2d6. Yeah, they if did they succeed. fail, 1d6 men will be crushed by the tank. Okay, a machine gun team crushed. Just one. One guy. Rifle team, four guys. That's pretty much the whole rifle team. Uh, no, there's one guy I'm left. I'm not sure you're... Yeah. Okay, yeah, each team, so... There were two rolls there. Okay, and then I moved four, four inch. inches away from me into fisticuffs with... Oh, uh, we'll just say they get captured. <laughs> <laughs> they roll right back into these guys, and that's that's it for them. So, so passes that squad. Well, on the upside, you lost uh, <laughs> So I got to roll some shock. bad things. Yeah, bad things happen, so... Senior, junior leader captured, minus one, because I still have all my jump off points and all my... Yeah. So it's the four. four. Uh, minus two. That takes me down to eight. eight. And then team wiped out, or section wiped out. Two. Minus one more. So I'm down to seven. I'm only down to seven. Yeah. I mean, you're still in it, but... Still in it. Okay, we'll see what we'll see what we're gonna do next. So this Valentine's gonna the one that took the uh, satchel charge is gonna fire at the Chiha. It's a hit. So Chiha's got very light armor, only three. <laughs> Whiffed again. Two, Two net nets. hits. All right, roll a d6. Five. We'll check the table. Chiha took. Uh, two shock and the whole machine gun is knocked out. So that's my two threes, and now I've still got a two here. Yep. Yeah, uh, the Japanese are going to withdraw. Um, it's not like over, over. Um, it's not, I maybe could, but... Uh, we'll if, co if this was a campaign, you would definitely be pulling out right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, but we'll come back and we'll wrap it up. Okay, yeah, like I said, it's, I mean, in, given enough time, 
Yes, I could bring these guys up. Andre's got a Vickers, a squad he could bring in here, block me. I've also got an entrenchment for the Vickers. <laughs> and then there's he could there's a pincer movement with two squads on my one. He's got the two tanks can take my I mean it's not looking good. It's not like I'm in imminent you know imminent danger of a total collapse at the moment. But I can see the writing on the wall. It would it would take me probably four turns to really start putting pressure on you. Yeah. Depending on what you did with your uh, Chiha. Um, I mean, realistically, you need to retreat and regroup, get your shock off. So not much would probably happen for four turns. But at the point when I've got you in a double pincer over here. Right. I should be able to, you know, that should be enough firepower to take you down there. Yeah, so I'll just, uh, we'll pull back. Yeah, we lost Tanaka early, just a freak, a freak machine gun, gun bullet fire, took yeah. him down, which kind of put a damper on us. Um, it wasn't the worst thing in the world, but, you know, losing a senior leader is never a good thing. Um, and then there was just some bad luck. That was a, the, char the charge, I didn't really, I mean, we played this before, we know how fisticuffs can get. But man, 30-something dice? Yeah. I wasn't expecting that many. I was expecting to maybe get lucky and take out your leaders well, and drop your force morale. Even if you're, you know, two to one on the dice, it, <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, you know, we've had several times where, you know, twice, twice as many dice and you wind up pulling out a victory. Yeah, it's not unheard of. But four to one, yeah, I just, we ran up. We got blasted and we ran back and that was that. So that was a bad, bad idea. Yeah, just, it was not a great game for the Japanese. But overall, I do like these, these jungle rules are cool. I like using the dite, the pips for, I like the mobile jump off point is super cool. I would love to incorporate that into other games. And um, honestly, I think that probably hurt you more than it helped you. <laughs> it was really cool to showcase it. Yeah. And in this scenario, having the extra, sections back here but honestly coming at me in one big wave um in hindsight might have been a uh, a more advantageous move possibly but but then you could have just completed the objective by taking out my guys and but i off still the had to get yeah but getting through jungle man <laughs> getting through the the fringe is insane yeah at least in the, it, we rolled so many ones I mean, on average, it's not going to be that hard normally, but we had an inordinate amount of <laughs> rolling ones to get through that jungle fringe. But, I mean, you know, the way we're playing it, you got a fringe on both sides. The whole, yeah, around And the you thing. hit the fringe, that's one die roll, and normally you're going to get stuck in the fringe, so it's another single die roll to get into the jungle proper. You get across, and then you got a die roll. <laughs> yeah. So you're looking at, you know, a minimum probably six turns to get across a uh, hunk of jungle like that yeah you're probably better off just going around it <laughs> Say, if you're trying to move fast don't go through the jungle yeah if you can set up in the jungle what we need is like one big jungle so it's like when you're in you're fighting you're in, in a huge jungle i was i thought about suggesting that that you know maybe next time we do this we'll do that we'll play we'll have like half the board just be one big jungle maybe like one little path through it so there'll be a lot of fighting Along. i tried to do that i mean i spread it out because I, I knew little clumps were just not going to do it. Well, and this that could work. You just got um, a road going through the jungle, so you'd have um, fringe all along the road. So going side, you know, crossing the road would really suck. But <laughs> yeah, move, you know, you'd be able to move around and uh, only a 12-inch visibility, but it'd be fun. So, yeah, maybe next time we'll do this, we'll try the Japanese on defense. Because they have some really awesome bunker rules. Spider oh. holes. Uh, they can make it really, life really, it's, it looks really hard to take out Japanese bunkers. Not easy. Well, it's uh, lots of sniper teams, flamethrowers, and Flame. uh, satchel charges. Yep. Yeah, you definitely have to be kitted out just for that mission. But yeah. I think in the one in the book, like, the Japanese only get the two bunkers. And like one support point or it's they don't get a whole lot well as <laughs> the bunkers are badass yeah though. so i think next time we'll try that well i do have a one japanese bunker that i made that's pretty cool 
But anyway, yeah, I do like the rules. Refreshes the game. I mean, it, it was tough for us just because it's new. We haven't, this is our first time playing it. I took a bunch of notes, but still, there's a lot, there's a lot to it. It's a lot It's not brain. just a couple things, it's a lot it's of a different whole, things. It's almost a whole new game. Yeah, there's tons of stuff. All of it's cool, but it takes, it's going to take a few times to like get dialed in with it. So, uh, anyway, yeah, so it's fun. If you don't have it I, and you play Chain of Command, I would definitely recommend getting it. A lot of stuff you can put into other games. It doesn't have to just be specific stuff. I mean, it's like the 1940 campaign book. We use the rules from that and just regular games. So they're just good generic rules changes that you can use. Um, adapt to other theaters quite easily. I'd maybe skip the Jungle Fringe. <laughs> 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 That's very specific to the jungle. Don't put that in, like, Normandy or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but other other than that, yeah, it's super awesome. So uh, thanks to Andre for coming out. Uh, again, thanks to our live streamers, viewers. Hanging uh, with us, us on a hard <laughs> fought. Hard game, four hours long, brain drain, I'm wiped. Um, but it was fun. I liked it. Um, yeah, so check out our social media stuff. Uh, check out our Patreon uh, if you want to help the channel out. And with that, let us know what you guys think of the rules. You know, if we made any glaring mistakes, <laughs> let us know that as well, as we appreciate it. We'll incorporate it next time. So, uh, again, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.